Grana Wee Ninny Bong and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. Today in the booth we have the brand new Hasbro Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy Commander Class version of Skylinks and this is one impressive, impressive bot. It's pretty big. Uh, it has multitude of different forms, transformations, uh, and it's pretty, pretty good. But who is Skylinks? So Skylinks um, came really to, to prominence within the third season of the G1 cartoon, where he he kind of became the Transformers, the Autobots, uh, main mode of transport while they traveled around the galaxy. Uh, obviously, in season one, it was kind of Jetfire all the time. In season two, Jetfire. Season three, we saw Skylinks come into the mix from really out of nowhere. There wasn't too much reasoning given for him to, to arrive and where he'd come from. Um, but he was there and he was a, a bit of a, an egocentric type guy. Um, he was very, uh, thought, thought very well of his intelligence and his prowess in battle. As we always do, let's take the first look at the box on this. And the box art is beautiful. We see Jetfire. No, it's not Jetfire. It's Skylinks. We see Skylinks in the middle of space having a battle with Decepticons. And this is really where we get our first look at some things that may be coming in the future. Yeah, that's the Coneheads. We haven't seen the Coneheads in Earthrise yet, but that probably means that they are coming. Uh, we get awesome uh, artwork here of the Lynx version. We get his robot chicken type mode at the top. It then folds round to the top here and we see the Autobot symbol. We also see um, Galvatron it looks like here. So we've got Galvatron at the top in a kind of bit of a mess type thing that you, you see him in a black hole in some of the things but this is definitely Galvatron uh, at the top. War for Cybertron on the side um, we get the, the classic now Earth Rise artwork here. Just a bigger version of the normal artwork. Absolutely love this. We get authentic Transformers, Earth Rise, War for Cybertron. On the bottom, we get all kinds of stuff. And we know that people try to identify some of these. Um, I can't really identify any of the, the bots on this piece here. Um, but it's just the usual. Uh, stuff but quite nice and pretty uh, all of the space stuff there and then on the back we get the all-important product shot so he transforms in 22 steps 35 steps and 20 steps so um, there's a lot of steps there's all kinds of steps that are going on here get your step counters out guys you might get your thousand steps for the day or 10,000 steps a day believe we're supposed to do we can get him in doing all the steps to this one here's wc w f c e 24 uh, and then we also have here it tells you we can connect everything all together uh and yeah pretty nice uh, nice box really big box uh only issue uh, for me with this box is the same issue that they had with sky uh, jetfire um if you are a, a I keep everything in the box person, you've got a very pretty box sat on your shelf and no way to display the, the product that's inside it. Uh, why why have we not just got a little a little window? Where, where's your window? Hello. Oh well. Never mind. Nice enough box art anyway. Within the box as well, we get some destructions. Uh, the destructions here fold out very nicely they're the classic destructions that we get at the moment with these uh, he's an autobot so you get this kind of green look to everything which is kind of nice we get the little all written in cybertronium but we get a little data analysis here still hasbro still missing these bios where's the bios would be nice it also tells me here about 
how this god awful creature uh, Ironworks can connect to everything else and it also tells me here that if I uh, run the red visor over this which I can show you now so we get this with this which is just um, part of the galaxy background on these transformers when we run the red visor thing over there we get dead universe i will have to go back because i'm pretty sure that one of my other earthrise says dead universe already i'm pretty sure i've had this already saying dead universe this says char up here so that's interesting that we can see char up here uh, obviously we know from season three char is where the decepticons um kind of uh, retreated to I can't see anything else here but I can definitely make out Char there so that's pretty cool maybe they're gonna visit Char uh, maybe that's where they, they find Galvatron or whatever um, yeah so you get that with it um, you also get an, an arrangement of accessories that I'll come into in a bit and now let's look at Captain Ego himself let's take a look at Skylinks and this is Skylinks in his uh, fully combined robot mode uh, fully combined alt mode sorry so this is where he combines with the bottom half and his NASA shuttle and we can start to look at all the molded detail and this is beautiful so this is his mode that we see him quite often in when he's traveling throughout the universe uh, but there's so much molded detail and I'm glad they can see that the, the camera, even though this is white, the camera is picking this up quite well. Uh, the, the old school NASA logo there, his ship is called The Magnificence, but of course it is. Uh, we've got the lovely gold uh, painted here, uh, gold down the sides and the gold painted windows real classic looking so much molded detail on here and then a little bit of a, a gray here loads of molded detail on the bottom with the red plastic silver paint here and then the wheels on the bottom we have tracks but the tracks don't move the tracks um, on this mainly everything moves on these wheels these coasters that we have here so we have four wheels on the bottom not much to say it all holds together very well but I'll show you how you have to hold it on uh, it was a little bit tricky for me the first time um, I got to hold uh, I got to try and put this all together I found it a little bit tricky to get this guy to stay on there but once you kind of get the knack of it um, it's easy enough this switch here just releases everything that I'll show you in a second um, there's not much um, ports for weapons on this you can weaponize this ship if you want so if i was to get uh, a couple of the old um if, I, if actually if i was to get a couple of jet fires guns here uh then you can just stick them on here and you've got those two ports here at the front where we can use uh guns so we can weaponize him a little bit but you can't actually weaponize him too much uh, these bits disconnect here as well and you can also have two ports here so you know we can use a couple of <laughs> I love jet fires guns actually these these do look pretty sick on this guy so you can still weaponize him uh, but he doesn't actually come with any weapons um, at all as accessories but this is an incredible likeness to how he was in the g1 cartoon so we'll do a very quick comparison and i'm only going to use one bot for all the comparisons that i'm doing uh with this and that is the earth uh, there's war for cybertron siege version of jetfire so you can see now how he compares size wise to jetfire and you can see they make an absolutely immense pairing i really like the way these two look together uh, i think they look very very good um absolute classic g1 look here beautiful any collector's dream on your shelf to have these two looking so great next to each other 
So next up, we're going to do the first transformation. And the first transformation that we are going to do here will be into his kind of robot chicken mode, I guess we'll have to call it. Uh, or certainly the sky with the links being the bottom. Uh, but we'll do the, the little robot chicken. So first thing you need to do on robot chicken is pull this little lever and you unclip the ship. Then once you have everything unclipped from the ship we can just take a quick look at this guy ship mode is great all the transformation kind of hides under here and then at the sides you can see the engines just at the back so the first thing you're going to do is unclip the wings there so they just clip into these little tabs and then hinge up the wings so that they kind of yeah so they kind of just sit there just like so and then once they've done that you can just fold his immense wingspan out <laughs> hope that I can get all of this in so there's the immense wingspan uh, that he has which is pretty cool then we're gonna come round the back around the back we just unhook the engine and then we pull his tail piece out like so hook it underneath and reclose the engines so they kind of just sit there like so then you can bring out the legs they're on nice ratchet you can hear how well they just oh listen to that isn't that nice it's always nice to hear the sound of a good ratchet and this guy definitely needs them um then once you've got his little chicken legs out, like so, uh, you can then try and make him stand up, which can be a challenge in itself, and then pull his head out, lift his neck up. Okay, and then once you've sorted all of that out, you can stand him up. You've pulled his neck out and then you just open the jaw. If I can put this down and yeah, open his jaw like so and pull out his cannon on his face. And then you will have Skylinks in his robot chicken mode. So now he is in robot chicken mode. Uh, let's have a little look at the detailing on this guy. And he's got some really nice detailing. So the head, obviously the head opens up and we start to see his little gnashes all in here. And um, the neck's got quite a lot of molded detail. Really nice red plastic neck. Then we've got the white. Um, obviously it's the molded details still left over from the shuttle nice blue wings um, you get some some nice wingspan on this guy considering uh, how it all comes out then you've got the tail here the tail again more molded detail here on the tail um, legs quite a bit of molded detail on the legs and his little toes here as well um, he's obviously this looks like the classic Skylinks here um, no deviation it's probably the best looking Skylinks I've ever seen in my life um, really like it uh, look at the articulation side of this guy um, head we get some up and down articulation here we get jaw articulation and the gun inside moves as well um, one good thing on mine I stretch the neck out um, for me his head actually will stay up I've seen some where you know you put the head up and it just goes like that and it kind of flops down but mine seems to not have that so we can support his own weight you've got really nice articulated neck so you can get some good range of movement out of this neck and obviously the the, the mouth 
you can open and close it to wherever you want you get a 360 articulation and then he'll come around here the wings though the wings are a little bit of a challenge if I just hose my camera down a little bit the wings are a little bit of a challenge um, they work well as long as they're in this position uh, as soon as you start to kind of do anything else with them uh, they oh no this one this one seems to be okay now is it this one as soon as you do anything else with them um no actually okay maybe i was doing it before and um, so they do oh there, there we go so if you do try and have them back at all they will kind of flop under their own power but if you bring it forward like they're supposed to be like this you can get some range of motion here proposability and back you see but you can't take them back at all because they will just kind of flop down um, so posability from his this part of his body you can kind of get the wings up and down uh, but you can't really get any for, from forwards and backwards motion leg articulation is here knee joints on a really good ratchet so they're quite sturdy but he is a bitch to kind of balance a little bit um, obviously there's a lot of weight on those spindly little legs that he has uh, but the, the tail articulation here is quite good as well so you can see I can hold quite a few different poses with the tail so some really good articulation there on the side with the tail and then again just so you can start to see the size difference here a little bit this is how it looks like Jetfire versus Skylink's chicken mode. You can start to see that there is a little bit of a height difference there. So he raises a lot taller than um, Jetfire, but they still look pretty sick together. Okay, now we've removed Robot Chicken. We'll now be able to look at how we transform this dude into his Lynx form. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove these two little pieces here. Set them to one side flip him over and then you've got a tab here and a tab here which you can disconnect bring the foot forward disconnect and bring the foot forward at this point you can also move these out then bring the foot forward bring the foot forward at the front again a little tab there then bring the leg forward and a little tab here and bring the leg forward then you can just bring his little feet forward like so and then you have what is forming the main body then flip him over flip this down flip around his head and then bring it forward and then beefcake beefcake and then there we go and then we have we can also add in these pieces i think they go back onto here and here and we have sky length again with his mouth and his mouth cannon and then we have sky links or links i guess linksy bot well, let's have a little look at linksy bot and how he looks so first of all he is really nice kind of blue and um, it's like a metallic shimmery blue really really like that um the reds blues classic skylinks colors really nice gold head beautiful autobot symbol there all the molded detail you could possibly want here none of this is really painted i don't think this is all kind of molded plastic so it's a really 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 nice look um, nice silver going on here and again more and more and more of that molded detail um, such a really beautiful detailed figure tails uh, a bit odd because it's in two pieces but yeah it's you know it's quite a it's still a tail so from side on it looks like he has a nice little tail and then we have all the more molded detail on the legs uh, the feet obviously are just the uh, the rollers from before so he's a really cool looking uh links mode um articulation wise we get some little bits of head head sculpt here looks really nice articulated mouth here that just pops on down with his little gun cannon here which is nice and then we have 
two little ports here, which are like little gun ports. You get articulation here on the head. It doesn't really move side to side, but it does go up and down quite nicely. You get articulation ratchet joints on the legs, really sturdy, nice ratchet joints there. Ratchet joints at the front. Bit of a weird one because his his joints on his front legs will go like this, but he you can't get any back movement on it unless the whole thing moves and then goes down like that. So a bit of a weird joint there. Leg articulation on the back and foot articulation as well. So again, it's all the all the ratchets, but the, all the joints kind of face forward, which is uh, a bit tough on the old um posability there no waist movement nothing else the tails go you can you can wag his tail if you want give him a little bit of a tail wag make sure he's happy uh but that's really it for articulation he's a four-legged beastie four-legged four-legged lynx um that's not entirely poseable uh, but you can get some poses out of it but not too much really then again just for a nice comparison between these two you can see how big he is alone compared to Jetfire from Siege uh, and he, he's taller um, but obviously he's a lot stockier when you put them together but again they look fairly nice together. Now we've looked at both modes in their entirety let's have a little look at how we combine these to make the kind of but full combiner mode of Skylink. So let's take Robot Chicken away first and we'll concentrate on the Lynx part. So all we do for here is bring this down, pop the head away, bye bye, and close the head down. We will then have the rest of the body just the way it is because that's perfect. So then we can bring Robot Chicken back in and all we're going to do here on Robot Chicken is fold his hands in and lift this piece up and then they just slot into the back there very easily. Do the same on this one, so bring it down angle the feet up and it'll just fit into the gaps there very very easily and then you've pretty much done the transformation that's needed on this side just separate the wings out wrench his head back up and then this is the i wouldn't say tricky part but it can easily um kind of go a little bit awry this is where i was having a few challenges so there's a groove here, just on the back here, that needs to fit right into the groove here. Get into the groove. So you've got to put it in the groove there. And then when you push him, no, not quite like that. You kind of push this forward and then you pull the lever here. So you've got a little lever here that you can pull forward. That one, so I'll move that. And then he'll hook on. So you need to put it in, make sure that's in, and hook this forward. And uh, I didn't get it that time. It takes a couple of attempts for me to actually get this sometimes. Yeah, second attempt, not bad, not bad. And then you can see that's very sturdy. It's a very big catch there on the front. Uh, and then you can angle his little oingies up, angle the heat up, and then you can see we have a fantastic combined Skylinks. So here we have the full combined version of Skylinks. And as you can see, he barely fits in my boobs. Uh, I am getting the, an extension to this boot so I can start to have some of these bigger guys here. And there's quite a bit of glare on this guy. So I apologize for that guys. But you can see where he is with regards to how big this guy actually is. He is huge. He's a really, really big commander class. Um, really nice looking um, with regards to the way that he looks like this. Articulation, obviously it's just a mix of the two here. Um, so you've got some little feety articulation. Again, the, the legs fold this way, but not the other way. So you can kind of bring it back like so so you can get them to kind of 
go down a little bit like a like a little dog i guess <laughs> cutie pie uh and then uh, you can bring those legs back up um but posability on this figure even the neck you know it goes up but it goes down you've got some nice ratchets um here with the neck so you can have it quite high i've just gone out of my he's gone out of my camera range now uh so it's quite good but he his posability is a little bit limited um he looks fantastic um but there's not many poses you can really get out of him like i said the wings have to kind of stay here uh if you move them like forward or back at all they will kind of fall under their own weight but this has got quite a good angle on it so you can do a bit of that and you can also fold them up so you can get a little bit of posability out of it um but it is you know it's a four-legged beastie so you're not going to get much to articulation much articulation there so a lot of the the articulation really has got to come from that head uh, and then a lot of the, the way that you want it to look has got to come with the head really um it does come with accessories so his accessories on this are um, just a whole load of fire and flame. Uh, so this fire and flame everywhere um, attaches to his gun ports here, so we can have a little bit of a little bit of a fire breathing dragon going on. But it can go from this all the way up to something like this which is a massive flame i'm not sure if we can actually get that to hang out of his hang out of his face probably not oh you can you can just about get it to hang out of his face look at that it's incredible and then of course after we do those we can always turn it around so he can show us his dino but we can pull it down and then we you can, you can stick these into each one of the ports of the shuttle and he can show how he is speeding along with flames shooting out of his ass and then you've got the rest of this to play with uh, for other things as well so he has these and um, this one looks like it could separate but it's actually one big bulky bluey blammy thing so uh yeah all the rest of them come separately but that's just the only real accessories that he comes from he also comes with these uh which are like uh, gun porty type things i guess um you can just take off um you can move around his body to his various siege locations um but yeah all in all it's a nice looking uh, character um, but just articulation wise obviously it's a four-legged creature so it suffers a little bit uh, I always test if they can ninja kick I'm not sure if this guy will be able to ninja kick maybe he can do a double side can he do a double side ninja kick this will be the first ever for the channel a four-legged ninja kick if we can pull this one off can you do a four-legged ninja kick Skylinks? I don't think so. I think you're gonna tell me you're having a laugh, mate. You're having a laugh. Yeah, you're not having that. So no, he can't ninja kick. He has four legs. The balance will not allow him to ninja kick. Unlucky. So, again, let's bring out the old Skyfire, Jetfire, whichever one you call him, and we can see here the comparison between the two is pretty good. Um, again, they just look fantastic together. Um, I think there's an oversized version of Jetfire now as well that makes him even bigger. KO oversized one that I'm thinking of picking up. Um, it really, looks really really good I think it's the oversized version of this so really really nice but again these two just look absolutely stunning together and then just for shits and giggles 
let's bring out the Wei Zhang Predator King and we can see here uh, how he stacks up next to him and they actually do look pretty good together again uh, you can see that this is his nemesis the Predator King and they scale quite nicely together then just for an added comparison I'll bring in Skyfire, Jetfire, whatever you want to call him, in his robot mode. And you can really see here how big, with his neck fully extended up, Skylinks actually is. So he is almost the same height as Jetfire. If his head goes up like this at that height, he is actually taller than Jetfire, if you can count that bring it down and he's pretty much head height head height is virtually identical um, and then the back of Jetfire is just slightly more up so he is absolutely massive if you've got this Jetfire you know how big he is and he's fantastic but this is such a, a huge huge Skylinks okay so let's count them down we've done one We've done two, we've done three, we've done four, so now we're counting into five, that's right, let's hear it, five modes, so now the fifth and final mode, so the first thing we're going to do, like I said before, this nice big switch here, flick that nice big switch, take away this and we're going to transform this back into full-on shuttle mode so you need to make sure that all these pieces here all lined up nicely and then they just slide back in this needs to go down and then he kind of you, you need to bring the, the the wing kind of in on itself so you kind of push it in and bring it down and that locks it into this peg here at the side so then again we just do the same here bring it down on the ratchet and then you kind of close the wing in close the wing in on the peg yeah and then they're in securely and then this tail just folds up nicely and clips back down and there we have his lovely shuttle mode made again so we'll just put that to one side and bring out what's left of the body body uh take off his shoulder cannons you don't need them anymore then we are going to just fold his legs up a little bit here and open this bit up here so by opening up this bit you can start to see a little bit of the base Forming. This bit goes to the back, uh, comes around and just adds support on the back here, like so. So you can just put it down like that. Then these bits here are going to come up and they're going to come up. And then we also have one of, battle, one of the Battle Masters from hot link there so you can see the size comparison with those guys uh, so pretty good size comparisons there and um, there for the PS de resistance we can bring on the ship itself so the ship just plugs into these two little holes here uh, just like so and move that out of the way and then you can bring up this little piece here and fold that back out and then this piece just slides up to there and then this piece folds out there like so if I just yeah if I just take back my camera you'll be able to see that in full so i really like that um this is actually from a, a setup type mode um from a 
uh, a visual standpoint, I really like this mode because it's obviously very reminiscent of the uh, the episode in season three where they have the spores on Earth and they are loading uh, all of the alloy into Skylinks ready to uh, go and coat all the rest of the Transformers so they don't get the rage virus. So this is um, obviously a bit of a homage to to that piece so I really like that that's really cool uh, nice little loading uh, bay there really nice uh, play features on this obviously you've got these little turret type things here and then you've also got these pieces here so you can put uh, the turrets on here on the ports that you have here you have uh, added little ports so all that's left is for me to say whether or not I would recommend this figure and I would say yeah I would definitely recommend this figure um, but I think it really depends on what you're looking for posability articulation wise you get a little bit with the neck um, and you get some with the feet and um, the wings are quite limited as well because they are quite heavy they have to stay in this fixed position here if you try and push them back a bit uh, they do have a habit of falling over otherwise they can pose up and down like this so articulation wise there's not much really uh, going on with it where you can kind of pose it um but i like it anyway um like i say it depends on what you want it for for me this is the best version of skylinks i think i've ever seen and definitely the best one i've ever had in my hands uh, well done to hasbro on this you know five different modes and one that calls back to a, an episode of g1 i love it fantastic uh figure well worth picking up um, if you can find him out in the wild anywhere um, also you know this is I've got mine early um, the Hasbro seems to be releasing things early I've just seen as well it's Scorpinox getting released this month in the UK as well wow it's gonna be a very 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 busy month uh, so guys thanks a lot for checking out my channel if you like what I'm doing around here please give me a like share and subscribe uh, you can also check me out on instagram at vector under vector underscore sigma reviews uh, you can see some uh, more photographs and things like that that i take as well with the transformers uh, and also i've got a lot of things coming up in the meantime guys see you later in a bit peace